order I've been wanting to make for like a year and just haven't gone around to doing it which is so bad on my part but anyway I, I don't know if I could pick the colors or anything but there's this lovely lady and it's another Etsy purchase and it's Cat's Corner and basically she um, creates like Daniel Smith watercolors they only come in tubes so you can't buy half pans and this lady at Cat's Corner she actually buys the tubes and then pours them into half pans and then you can buy the half pans off first so you don't because like Daniel Smith especially depending on what series you're buying they could be spending up to sixty dollars for like a little tube of watercolor um, paint whereas these half pans sort of thingies like they'll take forever to go through and um, it's you get sort of more variety for your money so a lot of these were you know between seven and nine dollars US to buy a half pan size of that color that you wanted which I thought was really really great so super super excited by that now I've mucked up oh yeah what goes where so um so yes definitely like sorry put this into screen I was just putting them back in there um, so yeah so this is sort of her little um, spiel that she sends out with her Etsy store and the Daniel Smith paints and all that sort of stuff and just gives you sort of a little bit and then there's a little thank you gift of this is part of their um, dot chart and she just had cut up four little ones to go with it just for a little bit of a play so I thought it was really nice to include that as well with the um, with the half pens so the colors I got and it's really cool because she sort of writes on the side of them already so I ended up getting 12 colors and I got six Primatech and six of the other ones <laughs> I've heard they're normal fine um, fine watercolors now I just thought I'd mention quickly like the Hordam uh, Schmanke Spanky Hordam Aquarelle, which is the big, um, I got the like largest set of half pans, um, probably about a year ago now, um, and I love them. Do not get me wrong, I love them. So these 12 colors are things that I can't get from the Schmanke range, like color choices. Um, and the six here, like the Primatex, if you've never heard of that before, they actually take minerals from the earth and they grind them down and whatever and they create paints with them. So these are actually made from minerals, they're not synthetic colors or anything like that. So, and as far as I'm aware, it's just Daniel Smith that sort of has that sort of range of colors. Um, and some of them are actually really quite sparkly. So of the, um, I'll just point them out here. I'll use my pencil so it's easier to look at. Um, but you have like this is the sugar sugalite. I always say sugar light, but it's sugalite, and then there's um fuchsite and then uh <laughs> let's see. Now I can't remember. Hold on. I'm gonna have to pull them out. This will be way easier doing it this way. So sugalite genuine, which is sort of like a bluey purple color with um it's got a sparkle through it. And then you got the Fuchsite Genuine, which is like a beautiful um, turquoise sort of color, and also with a sparkle through it. And you have Kyanite Genuine, which is like a deep bluey gray, and it has a sparkle through it as well. And then you have Bronzite Genuine, and this is like a bronze, beautiful bronze color with a sparkle through it. You can tell I picked out the ones with sparkles. <laughs> and this one is Amazon. Uh, genuine and this one didn't have a sparkle but I loved love the color it's like a beautiful teal aqua color and then this one here is diopside genuine which is just like my favorite green color so I grabbed all these and these are again all Primatex and these ones here are all colors that from their fine watercolor range um, but they're not the Primatex ones and they're just ones that I could couldn't get um, in the Schmenke range. So I've got the Carbolized Violet which is this beautiful purple color and I really wanted a uh, purple. Purple's really hard to mix <laughs> and I just wanted um, a proper purple. And then I also got this Westeria and this was a new color range and this is I sort of made this on a whim. I've never tested it. I'm just like ooh, let's try. 
So grab that one. And this is the graphite gray. Now this is actually a very opaque uh, watercolor paint and I specifically bought it because it is very much like um, if you thought of like graphite in like a pencil, it's very much looks like that on paper. It has the same texture and everything. Um, but I want to pair it with something super neon and bright. And I love that this gray was a matte dull gray. So that's why I got that one and teaming it with like an opera pink, which is your super bright pink. And then I got a couple of Kodachrome colors. So I got the Kodachrome Coral, which is my favorite, and the Kodachrome Gold, which love. So that's what I got from Cat's Corner. Really, really love it. And um, I picked this up, so I just put it in this little tin. And I got this from um, Larry's... Mm, it's a Sydney place. Um, a stationery store in Sydney. I'll have that link in the in the um, description for you. So I got this a year ago, um, knowing that I was going to buy some Prima Tex and I would need an extra storage thingy. So I'm using this for just my Daniel Smith um, um, watercolors. So I'll also put in this sap green in there because I want to keep all the Daniel Smith together and all the Schmenke together. So they'll be have their own little separate tins. And I think that will sort of satisfy me for my watercolors um, selection. So yeah, very, very exciting.